This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the place to go to for creating your own slick looking website or online store. Oh man, this video is probably not going to get many views. It should have been something like, oh, why I switched to Sony from Canon. That would get views. Sony, Canon, that's a double whammy. Maybe I need like a more clickbaity thumbnail, like some, some boobs, boobs on fire with some puppies, puppies eating their own feces or something like that. Because what I'm saying is, I've switched to Pentax. Here it is, it's cool. There's no reason why you can't like this because this is a superb camera. It is indeed. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you are really the one on the whole internet, on the yes, whole I YouTube am. to reveal this Pentax KP because okay. nobody else bought it. I mean, how many people actually own a Pentax? Well, well, not to mention how many people actually touch one. But look at what is there not to like about this? Fantastic. What, what fantastic? I mean, I just realized uh, under the sun, especially under the sun, this paint is kind of blistering a little bit, kind of like those black bad paints on the road. Yeah. Those, well, like, you know what that's for? Blistering. That's what it's for. It's, it's that you can see it in the dark. Just a tiny bit of moonlight, boom, you can see your road. It's coming out here and yeah. there, and yeah. it's just. And that's why it's good. I'm telling you, you're gonna regret it. You, at the end of this video, you're gonna you're gonna be trying to save up some money to try and get one of these. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm getting my Sony. <laughs> this Pentax is old school cool. We should do something old school cool, something very old school, but I can't think what. Oh look! Oh, it's on timer. Damn. So yeah, in terms of the. Um, Ergonomics and ease of use, top notch. Total random shot of randomness in Hong Kong. Ooh, can you feel the nostalgia coming off this photo? And just, you know, I know we're about a minute into the video already, but this is the Pentax KP, by the way. I forgot to introduce it. Is the Pentax KP, why did I buy it? I, I mean, you can get this quite cheap these days. Even new, it is pretty damn cheap. And what do you get for it? You get in-body stabilization, which is kind of unheard of. The DSLR. Olympus did it, but you know, nobody buys Olympus DSLRs. Or buy. Continuity, nobody buys Olympus full stop. Yes, what else has it got? It's got quite a big viewfinder for a crop censored camera. Biggest in its class? Possibly. I've not gone to all the trouble of comparing all of the class. Confirmed fatty finder from info that was blatantly ripped from DP Review's website. Nice and crystal clear. I mean, just look at the, the prism on this. That is very classic Pentax. That, that's one reason to love Pentax. It's because they just have the same designer since way back. All conjecture, of course, but look, it's a nice nostalgic touch. But there are a list of things to like about this. One of them being the fact that it uses Pentax lenses. Pentax lenses are superb. There was a there was a there was a website, a really geeky website that once said best autofocus lenses money can buy. Apparently, the limited lenses, and they're not limited. They produce lots of them. It's just a name. But they come up with really kind of specific focal lengths, like 43 millimeters, 32 millimeters. It's like, does, does, do, do those few millimeters matter? Yes, it does. God damn it. You've got to be precise. With this, what I've got on here, look at that. I bet you almost missed that, right? It's a 40 millimeter pancake. Look at that, that, that is, thinner than some pancakes out there. You know, we've been to New York, we had some pancakes there. And that is a, one that was a heart attack on the plate, but also they were thicker than this. That has a lens hood on it. Could be a good thumbnail. It's so YouTube, typical YouTube thumbnail. But it's good, it's, got, it's even got a red ring on it. Just in case you're worried about switching from Canon, looks like an L lens. Apart from the body, doesn't look like a Canon. Probably got more features than a Canon body. They do say that 
It's all about lenses. Invest in lenses, not bodies. And they're very nice lenses. Nice compact lenses. In fact, I've got another one in my bag here. My little butt pouch. Let me get out of my butt pouch crack. Oosh, another red ring, another limited. Interestingly, all the lens caps seem to be of <laughs> the screw type. This one is a 15 millimeter. Oh, well. Okay. Yeah, very, very specific. Okay, ready? Yeah, E, Sam. Very, very, very specific requirements there. <laughs> just, just like a whole list of requirements. Is this autofocus? It, it looks no. like a manual lens. No, it is. It is all auto. Oh, because it, the focus motor in the camera. Yeah. See, you don't get one of these in a Canon DSLR. Sorry, I just saw something. It says taco. It says taco catcher. There's nothing that looks like an octopus in there. That is not an octopus. Give me my octopus. I thought that was a new Coke. That's just been in there so long. That's faded. Yeah. I've been away for a long time. So I thought, you know, is that a new Coke? No, I, I don't want to be getting that can. That's for sure. Yeah, that's another thing. This is incredibly robust. It's weather sealed. It is, it's got other sealed. It's sealed to drops. How can you seal for a drop? I don't know, but I just made it up. So it should take a good tossing. Well, this is the place where we did camera tossing. I bet you were thinking we participated in some public indecency right here. Well, not here we didn't anyway. I can't remember if we've shown it, but we dropped the 5D when we were tossing the camera. That was the 5, was it 5D3? That was just released at that time. Oh, yeah. So how do we do it? Let's do a bit of camera tossing. Of course, this is my camera, so it doesn't matter. If I break it, I've paid for it. And of course, that's a beautiful shot of nothing. Of course, I couldn't have got that shot if I didn't toss it. I have to try and toss it, toss it the right way. It's all about the tossing technique. It's fine, I'm a professional tosser. <laughs> okay, all right, that'll do. They, they say the more you fly, the more you risk your life, but um, I think the more you risk your camera in this case. <laughs> okay. I don't think we've ever shown this in a video that we've done before. Like this is, uh, this is what they, they would call an adult playground. That sounds dodgy. Sounds like a company that makes saucy films. What is this? Pull down machine. Let me put this between my legs. I think these are usually for like Chinese aunties because you know, this, is, this isn't exactly strenuous stuff, right? Although it does look like nunchuck. Look at that. Shoulder stretch. It's more like dislocate your shoulder. All right, I've had enough, let's go. That's my exercise done for the day. Forget the gym. <clears throat> Look at that yacht. Somebody's got a tiny penis over there. I bet, I bet the owner of that also has, has his own like captain's hat. <laughs> and he likes all his guests to call him captain. I'm gonna put, put all the girls on his, his lap and say, call me captain. It's interesting the color, difference in color of water, Hong Kong. UK is kind of like a brown colour. Here's sort of like, you know, they just chuck bleach straight into the water body <laughs> kind of colour. So yeah, anyway, the camera. Nice little break, a little interlude from talking about camera stuff. This has an ISO, max ISO of 800 and something thousand. I don't know, it's so high, I can't remember the number. Don't care, don't go up that high, but it's high, yeah? And naturally, I take a shot that fully utilizes the rather generous max ISO of 819,200. It's so good that I can just shoot this as a tourist. I mean, I've, I've kind of dressed up like a Moroccan or something like that today. Because obviously I look a bit Moroccan. <laughs> I, remember, I remember this. This is so good. They look cute, dolphins. 
face. They'll take your face off if they can. Oh, you can get an Instagram photo, like. Oh, why don't just... you take a selfie? <laughs> oh, you don't, <laughs> yeah. you don't have a I between. just, it, no, you can't take a selfie with this. But Pentax is for serious photographers, yeah? It's not for your, your hipster, hipster generation, your Instagrammers. Just realised that you're taking video, so it's going to look absolutely stupid. Reliable autofocus. There we go. Yeah, it's good for selfies, though. <laughs> there we are, it's wide enough. 15 millimetres. This is APS-C crop. None of you can in APS-C crop, which is 1.6 times. This is full-on, full 1.5 times frame crop. This is new. There's a lot of plants here. Just stand there, lock. This is a nice little backdrop for you. I don't know why I keep using, I keep looking to use the LCD screen. <laughs> I mean, you can use live view, it's got a perfectly usable live view, but this is DSLR. The benefit of it is that you can use the, the mirror looking straight through the lens. That's something you don't get these days because people will go mirrorless. That's exactly what you're going to get. What's your multi-use camera? Is it a uh, GX5? Yeah, I don't use cameras with mirrors, mirrors, because uh, you know they're old, old-fashioned. But you know, it's good to use one once in a while, isn't it? And you can use it as a mirrorless. Oh, that was slow. The live view AF, that is not the old lady. That's kind of obvious. Actually, it's not so much slow as it is a bit reluctant to focus on what I want at times, especially with a bit of backlighting, even if the subject is kind of obvious. There's only one thing though, I mean, it takes quite nice pictures, but however, if you're into video, not so good. 1080p! If you want to shoot 4K video, get a video camera, yeah? This is what the 1080p footage looks like, and with shape reduction, which looks not too natural, a little bit robotic. Pet friendly. <laughs> some some idiot is going to put their dog in there and think, "Oh, it's pet friendly. Great." That's how I. That's how I stop my dog from smelling. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Tumble dry. No, come out. Corpse. Rover's a corpse. Oh yeah, high hit. <laughs> Kill. <laughs> Kill the fleece. <laughs> I just want to get this, a, no, a completely nothingness photo, but I just want to have that light. It's a camera, yeah, it takes photos, etc, etc, but being back here and using a Pentax, it's giving me nostalgia overdrive. But before I get all soppy, here's this quick 20 second message. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you want to set up your own domain, online retail space or website, it's super simple to get started and make your next move with Squarespace. With an easy to use interface filled with loads of templates and backed up with 24-7 customer service, you can try it out with a 14-day free trial and get 10% off your first order with this link and discount code. So there we are, that's the Pentax. It's got good lenses, good image quality. Mm. So much to like about it. Retro, it's got the OG style of that prism. It's very much Pentax, all the styling cues. Yeah, I know a lot of people like the digital camera looks like film camera, but this is not in a good way. I don't think it's in a good way. This looks like those from the 90s, those really stuck in the middle, not very manual, not very automatic you kind like, of. You like stuff of a certain era as well. I like those in, I like my Olympus. No, not manual no, camera. No, manual I, I film think there's camera. stuff you like from the 90s that you, you stuff. Sega, Mega Drive. Yes. No, it doesn't look good. It looks, no, it looks like this. I mean, it's it kind of cool, but kind of cool. <laughs> it's kind of cool for 16 years old. It's kind of cool for 16 years old when I was 16 years old. That was cool. Uh, but okay. that is like, uh, now it's like, uh, okay, well, what, what is that sticking out for? Uh. Look at that manual. I know. We were just talking about Sega Mega Drive and how you, you remember it and it's, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool it's when like, it's in the 90s, not now. Can you touch it? No. You can, you can touch the screen, but it won't do anything. It won't do anything? No. Do you, do you have to use a pen or something? <laughs> <laughs> that would be tacky lot. Let, let, me, let me balance it that uh, I do like replaceable um, grips. grips. Have different size. Key. Yeah, you have different I size. thought it'd be cool if it was just completely flat. You know, like those yeah. old film SLRs. Yeah. 
um, but underneath it's, it's got some exposed yeah. parts. So, so get a Fuji. Seeing that prism shape, the branding, the lenses, for someone who used and enjoyed Pentax film cameras, it triggers something in me. It touches a soft spot, and I don't mean my balls. For me, when I was in university, there was always something kind of arty about Pentax. And it was kind of a bit left field. It was a bit, you know, Nikon and Canon, they're the mainstream and, and brands. The top. Yeah. Uh, it's like, the top. I'm not going to accept your, your mainstream brands I'm gonna be a bit different and that was Pentax to me this is not a camera for hipsters you know this this isn't meant to be trendy this is a workhorse of a camera this doesn't hide the fact that photography is a geeky hobby it's for geeks <laughs> it's for geeks perhaps isn't in favor with your hipsters although they did try to be uber hip uber modern with the k01 it's terrible. It's, it's atrocious. I think the best thing for Pentax is not in looking forwards, but rather back to their glory days. Some notable brands survive from selling nostalgia, and perhaps that is what should be Pentax's main appeal. All right, I might not have actually switched. The same old camera. Same old camera. I just have a lot of bloody cameras. But for me, there's always going to be a special place for a bit of Pentax love. I mean, it usually looks better on the plate, doesn't it? It looks a bit alien-like, the tank. When it's moving. When it's moving. <laughs> Can't trust it. Look at all the little kind of, look at his mouth. <laughs>